attack. But I've always said there's no shame in standing in democracy. Yeah. There's no shame in standing for what you believe in. Clearly, the so Liberal Democrat vote held holding up, not, not as bad as you would expect. It didn't just hold up, it actually increased, Mohammed, but obviously yeah. not enough to, to counter out the fact that the Labour Party votes increased. But I've always said, you know, if you stand up for what you believe in a democracy, there's no shame in losing. Yeah. You know, we stood up for what we believed. We, we've been left with a huge mess inherited from the Labour Party. They're now able to have a very easy time, if you like, to say that they're against all cuts, against all tax increases, etc. But they've yet to put forward a credible fiscal alternative. What was the uh, reasoning behind why you lost? Well, there, there must be. Was it tuition fees? Was it VAT well, rise? What was it? I think perhaps it's for other people to analyse that. But I would say the. In your red, opinion. It, it, Nationally, we are taking some very difficult decisions, and you know, for, for people having cutbacks, etc., it's very easy for them to say we'd like none of this. But the reality is that we are spending four pounds for every three pounds we're getting in in terms of revenues. And if we don't want to go down the Portuguese or the Irish situation, we have to be fiscally prudent. And that's not a pleasant message that some electorate want to hear. What about Nick Clegg's leadership? What does it say about Nick Clegg's own leadership here? Is this a question about his leadership? Well, you're talking as though our vote has actually, uh, you know, our vote has increased. Well, the Labour majority is higher than it was in 1997. Well, if you look at the Liberal vote, the Liberal vote has actually, the share of votes actually increased. So, you know, we're, we're in a situation where we've, we've, we've done well here, but obviously we've, we've not won.